Hey everyone, Shady Penguin here, and today we're going to be going over the first purple creature you'll be using in Legend of Soulguard, Nightcast. Nightcast is our first attacker unit, so she focuses on clearing your opponent's field as quickly as possible or as effectively as possible as we're going to see with her abilities. Let's go over those abilities now. Her first ability is Moonbeam. When she attacks, the Nightcast Brilliant Beam splits one time per hit dealing one to two damage to random enemies. So picture a lightning bolt that's just jumping all over your opponent's field. That's essentially what Moonbeam is, except it's not a lightning bolt, it's a beam from the moon. Uh, and of course, if we look at Endgame, once you get this ability up to level 10, it's gonna deal five to eight damage, and it's gonna bounce three times. So you can really clear uh, even some big merged creatures in your opponent's side of the field. You're gonna be able to do a lot of work, and that's kind of why she's an attacker. She has that offensive presence to clear a lot of different creatures um, just when she attacks. Now, she does have a whole time of one. Please keep that in mind so she's not gonna be able to attack right away, but she does do something when she does merge, which is gonna be Nightfire. When combined, the Nightcast sets the space in front ablaze, dealing two to three damage for two turns. As the fire starts burning, it immediately deals zero damage. So for me right now, it only it doesn't do any extra damage right when you light the fire. However, end game at level 10, it deals five damage immediately. So upon merging, you're gonna set the space right in front of you ablaze and deal five damage. And then that flame is gonna stay there and it's gonna deal damage at the start of your opponent's turn for two turns. This is a great way to like passively clear creatures from your opponent's side of the field. Uh, I really, really like this ability, especially when you merge a big night cast because then you set multiple uh, spaces ablaze and is sitting there and just dealing damage, dealing damage, dealing damage. Once again, a really powerful ability I think in Hero Arena because if your opponent's not merged yet, you're just gonna clear creatures out passively, passively, especially when you rank this up and you're able to deal damage immediately upon lighting the fire. You're gonna clear at least, it's gonna be one when you light the fire because it's gonna deal damage and clear a creature and then the next turn right before it's gonna clear uh, damage. So this one ability is gonna do at least three creatures on a normal size night cast. And then it can do a lot more when you do a big night cast. So I really like taking advantage of merging a large night cast and setting a few spaces on fire. But I'd like to know your favorite strategies with night cast. Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, if you haven't joined the Battle of Fire and Ice yet in Legend of Soul Guard, I highly advise you click the link down below and join us. Please join us with that. Until next time, get out there and keep kicking ice.